thing. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh man! God. Oh, that was a hey guys, close welcome one. to another episode of Joshua McClunky Fishing. Today we are trying a mill dam. Luckily there is no one else fishing here. It is Sunday, April the 5th. It is overcast conditions, about 51 degrees. The water is perfect. It's not high, it's not low, and it's not muddy, and it's not clear. We are trying for crappie and largemouth and spotted bass and smallmouth. I have a bobber and minnow pole. I have a swim bait pole, a spinner bait pole, crank bait, and a crappie jig. So five different tactics, all ready to go, all rigged up. I can switch real easy. Let's see if we can get on these fish today, guys. I got a good feeling. We just got done mushroom hunting. I found one black morel. After a whole hour of searching, only one mushroom. And that's because we had two days of complete overcast and not warm enough at night. So that, a lot of the mushrooms went back in. But they will be back. Eventually they'll be back. I'm going to lean my poles against this rock. And I just grab and change as needed. We also got two dozen minnows. Should have a really good day. I'm going to get wet, but I will. I do have a change of clothes with me in the car, so I won't get sick. As soon as I leave here, I'll be able to change clothes. There we go. Oh yeah. All right, first fish guys on the spinner bait. Man, it's not bad, whatever. I think this might be a small mouth. Feel like a small mouth. It's big. Look at that. Oh my gosh. He's trying to go in them rocks. No, it's a large mouth. It's a nice one too. Wow. Not bad guys, real large mouth. Oh yeah. I want you to take a picture of me with my phone. Can you come over? Guys, all right. Nice. Look at that. Good start. I thought it was starting to think it was going to be slow, but it ain't too bad, I guess. Took me about 10 minutes to get a first fish. Wow. About pound and two thirds. Hey, it's the middle of the day here. Got about four good hours. It's at three. Three hours left. It's four o'clock already. I'm gonna get her back in. It's a good good sign. There we go. Crappie. All right. On a minnow. All right, guys, got me a crappie on a minnow. A little black about right at seven inches, I'd say. Not quite eight, he's seven. All right. Too bad. See if we can get some more. I want the big one. This is actually the very. You know what? This is the very first black I've caught out of here. They're always white. That's the very first black crappie I've ever caught out of this river. It's always white crappie. And I've fished it for years. 
I guess there's always that one rare circumstance. There he is. Take it. Oh, he let go of it. Nope, he's on there. All right, crappie. All right, guys, crappie number two. No, it's not. It's a bass. Well, I thought it was a crappie. Little bass. It's real shallow through there. It's only about three foot. All right, got a little bland largemouth, real little, about six, seven inches. There he was. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a crappie. Honey. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys, this time it is a white crappie. He's about seven inches. About the same as the, same as the last one. That's two different kinds though. They're kind of bland in here. They ain't got those spawning colors at all. I'm going to try to use this minnow again. We'll see. Probably dead, but it's worth a try. Keep me from having to walk all the way over there again. Told you, right here. All right, guys, I got a small mouth on a minnow and bobber. Not too bad. Told you, right in front of the tire. Right there where the water's calm. You got your bobber set too deep. You don't, you need them like that. 18 inches. You're a little bit too deep. Move your bobber down. All right, guys, small mouth bass. About 11 inches. Got some little black spots on him for some reason. That's black crappie, white crappie, large mouth, and small mouth. Not too bad. Yeah, bring the minnows over here. Oh, Wilma's got something nice here, guys. I think she's got a big, large mouth. All right. Hey. There was, I see, I thought I seen something chasing him. That's a real large mouth. That's a pregnant female too, so we need to get her back. That's a good one, huh? There, you finally got something. Boy, look at the hole it made in its mouth. <laughs> it's almost like it already had a hole. He's about 13. Not bad. All right, yeah. Good job. That's a real large mouth though, I was spotted. It's decent. They're not biting terrible. I thought about going over there and lower, standing, fishing straight down. All right, guys, this is a big pregnant female bass, so we're going to get her back in so she can lay her eggs. <sighs> All right. Good job, Wilma.
Got one? Man! Now you're whipping my butt. Oh, man. He's got another big bass, guy. My goodness. That's a nether lark? No, it's a smallmouth. We're going to get a picture of you with the phone this time. All right, let's go to the phone. Oh, that's a smallmouth, yeah. Man, let's get the phone on this one. Yeah, man. Wilman just caught a nice smallmouth, about a 14-incher. He's decent. All right. That's nice, man. You did good. All right, give me a minute here. With a nice smallmouth there. We ended up having a good evening. We got two smallmouth, two crappie, and two largemouths now. Six fish, all pretty decent. All right, good job. Was on another one, and. Small. Yeah, he ain't worth taking a picture of. Oh man, your minnow. <clears throat> Here, I saved the minnow. That way we can go to the low water bridge toward the evening. We'll go down there at that bridge. Yeah. All right, Wilma got her third bass. A little smaller than the first two nice ones she caught, but it's still fish. Damn. Not easy. There we go. All right, guys. Largemouth number three in total. No spotted bass today. Kind of rare for this stream. Got one? All right. Wilma's on a nice one, guys. Looks pretty big. I'm coming. Man. <clears throat> I don't know what she's got. I think it's a large mouth, if anything. Oh, 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 man. God. Oh, that was a close one. Smallmouth? Man! It fell off right at the edge, huh? Ah. Oh my god! Let me get my phone. That thing is huge! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hold, no, hold it normal. Oh my God. Down, way down. Oh my God. Holy cow. Now hold it by the lip once. That's a trophy small mouth. Hold it by the lip once. Like by the lip. That way your hands ain't. I can't believe it broke your line that close to the, you need to cut off about two feet of your line. Oh my God. Let's measure that thing. Don't you think? Guys, Wilman has got a trophy Missouri smallmouth. It broke her line right on the edge of the bank, but it was luckily in shallow enough water that she was able to walk out and get it before it swam away. As you can see right here, the hook broke off. Broke her line. This thing is easily three pounds. We're gonna get a measurement on this smallmouth. It's the one of the biggest, it is her biggest one from Missouri that she's ever caught. She's got a bigger one in Tennessee, but this is her biggest one in Missouri. That is a monster. Let's get that thing measured. My gosh, what a small mouth, guys. Wowzers. Made this day worth it. We may not have 
did good on mushrooms, but she just got her biggest Missouri smallmouth ever. Look at the belly on this thing, guys. It literally has a six inch girth on the bottom. This thing is about to explode. Be really careful with her. We need to get that hook out. And uh, get her back in. Gosh. I wouldn't. You want her to lay her eggs. Could have mounted it. Here, I got your hook back. Oh, I lost it. It fell somewhere down in here. All right, you'll have to get another hook. It fell in the rock somewhere and I can't find it. God. If we could have kept it, you could have, but we can get... Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. I got one. I think it's a small mouth. Yep, it's big too. All right guys, the crappie may not be cooperating too much, but hey, it's making up for it in other species. Oh yeah. Nice. Nothing like hers, but it's still a nice one. Man, minnows is the answer. You just throw it in the waterfall and let it move around. That's all we're doing, guys. We're casting a bobber and minnow up to the where the waterfall comes down. Just sort of out in the middle, and it just slowly tumbles down, and something will pick it up for her almost every time. So that seems to be the method that's working. You want to take a picture of me with a phone real quick? All right, Wilma's on another one. Yeah! Man! <laughs> oh, man. You're slaughtering them. It's another giant. She's got another giant fish. I think this might be a large mouth though. Large mouth. Yeah. yeah, that's not a giant. He's only about a pound, but it looked big from far away. It's still not bad. Here, I'll just film you, you can get it. All right, good job, honey. Heck yeah, can you hold it for a second? Man, you're really tearing them up. We only got eight minnows left. We should have bought way more minnows. Good yeah, job. I know. Uh, I always, I always get good. too many, and then I don't see it all. the crappie are in that foam, and a little to the left too. You can't even get it far enough. Got him. All right, we're doubled up, guys. Oh man, my goodness, I got a fight or whatever this is. Here's a small mouth. Man, I can't even get this fish in. What do I have? I got a big large mouth, real nice one. Oh my gosh, whoa, 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 he's three. Oh yeah, you gotta get, come get a picture of me. Guys, we just got doubles. I think somebody's might be a little bigger than the other one though. Maybe. <laughs> I just got a nice three pound largey. All right, yeah, you gotta get a picture of me with a phone on that one. Woo! Man! Guys, ended up being a good day after all.
All right, guys. Hey, my biggest fish of the day. It's a nice little, it's about a 16 inch large mouth. I'm gonna get her back in because she's full of eggs too. The females are biting today and not the males. I don't know what the deal is there. I don't think I've caught any male fish. That's a hoss for a little creek. Hold on. All right, she got her first crappie. Looks like a white from here. A little white. Black, black crappie. Huh, yeah. All right, so that's one white crappie and two blacks. Good job, honey. All right. Told you they're by that foam. Mine was a spotted. Yours too, or small mouth. God, we got six minnows, five minnows. Small mouth. I know, I know that. I really didn't think we'd do this good here. My goodness. Yeah, we ended up doing really good, guys. Really good evening. Whoo, what a beauty. Nice little dark. Now that's a male, finally, a male smallmouth. Ah. Uh, oh! I got mine. All right. Guys, I finally got a fish after a half an hour with nothing. Oh, it's a beast, too. It's a beast. Oh, oh yeah. Nice smallmouth. Yeah. And we are officially out of minnows. Now we have nothing to rely on except lures, which there don't seem to be hitting. Wow, nice smallmouth. Up oh, 13. And once again, it's a pregnant female. We have been catching every fish almost today. That thing is really bloated. They're gonna lay their eggs any day now. Nice smallmouth, guys. What a beauty. What a beauty. Had a really fun day today. We may have struck out on mushrooms. What I should have done was come here all day with about six dozen minnows. Wow. And you can't hop to that other rock. You can't hop, you can hop to the middle rock, but you can't get to the lower one. I'll just give up. Maybe if he's gone by the time I get over there, I'll try his side. You have, almost have to have minnows for that bridge. It's not a lure bridge at all. Oh boy. Oh, it's not easy to get up. Well, guys, I think we're going to call it quits. If this guy's gone when we get over there, then I might try his side. But if not, we're going to head home. we got a two-hour drive, so had a fun day. we got one morel mushroom. She got her biggest Missouri smallmouth ever, I do believe. Yeah, her, the only bigger one she caught was in Tennessee. Um, it was one of the biggest ones I've ever seen in Missouri. I've gotten maybe two bigger than that. And uh, 
Couple nice large mouths, couple crappie, but no big ones. All in all, it was a good day though. Wasn't very warm, but it was still a lot of fun. It was maybe 50 degrees today, guys, and that was it. And the sun didn't come out till six o'clock. All right, well anyway, until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe and feel free to comment down below. Any recommendations you'd like to see different type of fish and let me know. You guys take care.